Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make the final version of my log cabin birdhouse. This log cabin birdhouse idea has evolved over time. Uh, the version before this here is identical to this except it had a wooden dowel here and it didn't have the chamfer all the way around here to make it look like logs. So this time around I decided to make two other versions of it. One of it, like here, as you can see, and it just uses the same bit to produce everything. So instead of a chamfer, you just have a bit of a cutout. And then again, that's just to produce the contrast uh, so they actually look like logs. And then I made another version here where I actually use a 90 degree bit to produce the chamfer, and it's definitely the aesthetic that I prefer over the other one. Now why would I produce two versions of this? Uh, one with the chamfer using a 90 degree bit and the other one just using the same bit. Well it comes down to production efficiency. If I'm changing bits all the time when I'm producing a job I'm wasting time because that time could have been used for actually cutting other parts. So that's where the idea for this one here came into being. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I could technically produce an offset to get a little bit uh, more of a log cabin look to it. But the clean cut and the, just the detail when you look at it up close of the chamfer version of it using the 90 degree bit is just so much better. And there's no real way to fake that using a straight bit other than again changing to a smaller bit and or you know it just slows everything down. Now when it comes to bird houses birds are not really picky so that's why I made three different versions of this and I have another one again with the dowels that was my first version of it. And so when the birds see it, they don't really care what it looks like. But for me, when it's up in a tree, I want something that looks sort of nice. And this is the one that I've decided to go on with a production schedule of to make maybe it was seven or eight of these for around the house in the backyard. <laughs> material is used for each one of these. Uh, this is right here the scrap piece that's produced and this one is actually for the uh, straight chamfer. So what you see here is roughly 48 inches by about 15 inches this way. So it's quite a bit of material and this time around what I really wanted to test out was the staining as you can see here. 
The nice thing about the stain is that you produce contrast. And that was the problem I had with this one here. Because there's no, not much contrast, you still sort of see the log home sort of look. Uh, but because there's a lack of contrast, it's just not like anything that's amazing looking. Well, you have this here again, same material, the only difference is the stain. And now you can see definitely like the log look and aesthetic to it. Maybe a little bit hard to see here, but there's actually little tabs everywhere. So every part was held in with a tab, and my CNC router behind me also has a vacuum system. Now technically I don't have to use or use tabs to hold everything down while I'm cutting it. I just like to make absolutely sure that nothing moves, and that's very important because these little parts love to fly off. If there are larger parts, then you don't really care about there's enough suction going through the table to keep them in place. So after they're cut out, the next step is just to sand all the tabs right off. Because if I leave the tabs on, what's going to happen is I'll have a little bit of space all the way around here. And I won't have the tight look that you sort of see with these birdhouses. <laughs> Now the assembly process for the, all these birdhouses is, is pretty much identical. Um, I didn't make any design changes in that regard. Now the nice thing about the design is that it's a very straightforward design. You just lay them over each other like this here. Originally I was going to make it with uh, screws, but I said screw it, I'll just do it with the nail gun because it's a lot more efficient. And you should put a little bit of glue to help seal the wood together. So that's I guess a four season house now because you won't have drafts going through it. The only other change I'd probably do to it would be to maybe add maybe another one of these holes in the back but a little bit smaller just so that there's a little bit of aeration because I'm guessing these houses here without air conditioning will get pretty hot. <laughs> Thank you.
the third part of a three-part series uh, for making log cabin birdhouses. Now again, this design here originally was done with uh, power tools, and I'm very happy I'm not using power tools to produce this because it'll just take a long time, and uh, you know you can't really do design efficiencies efficiently uh, using power tools compared to the precision you get with a CNC router. So if you have custom woodworking jobs that you want CNC RI to do for you, whether partial or complete, contact me at cncri.com and I'll cut it up for you.